If Senate Democrats continue their pattern of being protectors of the Obama administration's failed Iran policy, then in January 2017, when a new president enters the White House, there is a very real possibility that he or she will face an Iran on the verge of having nuclear weapons. And one question I would encourage each of you to think about, every American to think about, is which candidate as commander-in-chief would be willing to act decisively to ensure that under no circumstances ever does Iran acquire nuclear weapons? In the midst of the negotiations, Ayatollah Khamenei led thousands... Thank you, David. And thanks to Sheldon and Miriam. And the policy of isolating Israel must stop. This administration is undermining Israel's negotiating position with the Palestinians, and it must stop. A renewing of our alliance with Israel must begin. I believe the press got it wrong last year, and with all due respect, I believe the President got it wrong by saying that somehow there is a moral equivalence between Israel and Hamas and the Ayatollahs, those who seek to destroy Israel. There is no moral equivalence there. In I believe it's imperative that those of us who believe in democracy and freedom in America and for Israel stand together as never before. Israel's enemies are our enemies. Israel's cause is our cause. If the world knows nothing else, let it know this. America stands with Israel.